first off, I want to say it is an honor to me because for the, I'm making history today. Uh, I've given a lot of speeches. I was on TV this morning. Uh, I did a WBF news thing. For the first time in history, I'm speaking today, and I have a guest speaker who is shorter than I am. <laughs> and I am so excited because usually, uh, Tom, don't get mad about that over there now. <laughs> but uh, but but I do. Uh, uh, I was noticing I was made a comment to her earlier. Uh, Sophie and I got something in common in the morning, and that is in the morning early we both want to get up and we're both going to go to school because school starts back tomorrow in Horry County. And uh, and I've got my Horry County school shirt on because when I leave here this afternoon I've got to get back. Uh, I've got a full time job running school. But today here I'm talking about Congress. Uh, and I want to introduce a couple family members I got here today. I got Tom Dunn. Tom, raise your stand up a minute, whatever. So, yeah. Tom Dunn is running for Congress. Uh, Barbara Arthur. Barbara, standing up. Barbara, raise your hand. Uh, and uh, those are two two that I know are declared. I, uh, there might be 15 or 20 more in the room, but I know those two are declared. <laughs> but uh, I call them family because, you know, it takes a lot today to put your name on the ballot. And, uh, and you know, with me, uh, uh, you know, I started off, my passion's education. I mean, I think most people know me know that. Uh, and I'm, I, it's sad to hear there's only one person from Georgetown here because uh, uh, I've done a lot of work over in, or two, okay, excuse me. I've done a lot of work in Georgetown County because uh, I was chairman of the board at Horry Georgetown Technical College for 20 years. And, uh, and we, you know, we did a lot of growth in Horry County, but we built a lot of things in Georgetown County, too. But, uh, uh, and, and when I heard you mention about the budget a while ago, you know, uh, I know what it's like with a budget. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I handled the largest budget in the entire 7th district. My budget is between 750 and $800 million a year. That's the Horry County school budget. We, uh, we put about $32 million a month back into the local economy. And, uh, and we've got some retired, uh, I have a, I have a Young lady, I spoke to you a few minutes ago. To just retired. There we go, over there. Uh, you worked in Georgetown and in Oregon County, and uh, and and of course it breaks my heart when you come up and tell me, "Hey, I just retired because uh, I was out in the parking lot a few minutes ago. I'm trying to hire 25 bus drivers that I've got to have ready before in the morning because, but I needed 55 two weeks ago. So uh, and and we just hired 232 new teachers. So anyway, uh, getting back to the seventh district. Uh, uh, I will tell you this, and uh, and I I can back this up because I learned a long time ago. If you're going to say something, you better know what you're talking about. Uh, I am the only person in this race today that knew I was running before Tom shot himself in the foot. Uh, uh, I, I, I told everyone I was going to serve one term on the school board, which I'm doing. I've already announced I'm not running for school board again. I'm going to serve one term, and then I'm running for Congress, and if I win, great. And if I don't win, I promise you I won't go out and feel somewhere and cry. It won't be the end of the world because I'm here to try to help myself and help you make this a better place to live in. And with that, I want to say, uh, I got asked, the very first time I ever spoke, someone said, Ken, what kind of campaign are you going to run? And I, I, I don't know if they were talking about, are you going to run a clean campaign or, or a, a bad campaign? And I said, well, to be honest with you, I would like to run a Joe Biden campaign. I would like to go and kind of sit around in the garage and you know, come out and everybody say, congratulations, Ken, you, you, won the, you won the race. But unfortunately, you can't do that today because you've got to get out there. And um, and I get asked a lot about, there's a lot of people in this race, and I give them credit, I, do, I really do, because it takes a lot today to put your name on the ballot. And it, and it you know, there's a lot of campaigning, there's a lot of work that goes in it, there's a lot of, a lot of miles that's put on your car. Uh, and there's a lot of money that's involved today. Uh, you know, uh, I've met, I've met with, uh, you know, I've, I've met with a lot of campaign donors. I've, I've met with a lot of groups, and uh, and you know, it shouldn't be that everything is controlled by money. But the thing about it is, if I don't get out there and raise all the money I can, the Democrats are going to. And if you think they're going to sit around and just hand this seat to us, they're not going to do it. You know, I, believe me. You know, uh, I'm running. I'm running two races. My first race is to get to a primary runoff, and I'm hoping that that runoff will be with Tom Rice. Don't know. It might be somebody else. It really doesn't make a difference to me. My goal is to get. My first goal is to get the runoff. 
my second goal is to win that. And then when I win that, then I'll, we'll handle the, the, uh, the Democrats whenever that comes up. The one good thing I will say, I do not know what the census is going to tell us. Um, uh, I've got word out of Columbia this week that there's a, a lot of people talking about that um, that the 7th District is going to lose Georgetown. That we're going to possibly uh, keep the rest of it, but we're going to lose Georgetown, and Georgetown might move into the 1st District. I hope that don't happen, because I've got a lot of good friends in Georgetown. But uh, but if it happens, it'll be what, it, you know, we all got to live by the same rules, and we'll all play the same way. But. Uh, some of my stances, uh, I, I'm, I'll be honest, my very first stance is education. Uh, I, could, uh, I could care less about I-73, and I'm going to just tell you the truth. Uh, I tell people, I tell, I, tell, I, tell, I tell people all the time, why do you need a road to get you here faster so you sit in local traffic long? Now, now I am from I am from Horry County. My family goes back 271 years in Horry County, but long before they had it, uh, I remember we had five major roads in Horry County: 501, 378, 701, 90, and 905. All five of those roads. When I was a younger boy, the speed limit was 55, and we ran 80. But every one of those roads now, the speed limit has been changed down to 45. And I've been going around, and uh, and I've, I've bumped into, of course, you know, I see Barbara at some events, I've seen Tom at events, uh, you know, we, we, we co-mingle with each other, so we all kind of hear some of the same things. But when I, one of the things I do when I'm in a room, I ask people, you know, tell me, because, you know, a congressman's job is actually easier than being a school board chairman's job. Because I got, I got 90,000 parents in the morning, and I can promise you by tomorrow night, Half of them going to be mad with me. <laughs> but when I go to Congress, all I've got to do is what you tell me you want me to do. I'm not the, I mean, my job, I mean, yes, I need to be an independent thinker, and I need to have my own thoughts, but my job is to go and do what you send me to Washington to do. Amen. And believe me, it is not complicated. Now, Tom did drop the ball. Tom, I like to, uh, Tom... Tom's a good friend of mine. Uh, we were good friends, uh, uh, and uh, uh, and I like Tom. And uh, but a lot of people get confused on what Tom really did. And I'm gonna tell you what he really did. He didn't really vote to send a message to vote with the president. He voted to make sure he don't ever get to come back to Washington. That's what he was voting for. But I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I'm sure Jerry probably knows this, but Donald Trump's going to be back. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and, uh, and I'm going to tell you what, it might not be Ken Richardson, but there's going to be a Republican out of this district. Some, some, one of us is going to win this race. I, I do know this, all of us aren't going to win. One of us is going to win. One of us is going to end up in Washington, and I hope and pray we take the House, we take the Senate, and in two years Donald Trump's there. Because I can tell you this, in ten years, Tom Rice never was even on Fox News except when he voted to impeach the president. You give me three months in Washington as your congressman, and I'll be on Fox News, and if Trump comes back, give me three months off eating in the White House with you. Because I tell you what, it's all about letting the people in your district know what you stand for and bringing their message to Washington. They don't want to hear it, but somebody has to, t has to tell them. And I'm going to tell them. And I don't care who I make mad. I can tell you one thing. I promise you, if you elect me, they will know how to pronounce Ori, Georgetown, and Marlboro County when I leave. I mean, I can promise you that. Uh, one, and then the last thing I want to say, somebody made a comment earlier about, it seems like all the groups that I speak to are, are, are Republican women. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to get an argument started, but you know, I do wonder sometimes, where are the men? Because uh, it seems it seems like the, uh, the 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 women are buying into change and that, and that we need it. Yeah. Uh, but what I will say to you, most of you have got children or grandchildren, uh, and I'll ask you to do one thing for me. Please, please, please get young people involved in this party. We've got to have it. I tell them everywhere I go. 
please grow the party the way we grow a church. You, if you want to see a good, strong church, go look at their youth program. If they've got a good youth program, they're going to have a good, strong church. It's the same way with this party. We can't sit around until all of us die off. We've got to keep, we've got to get younger people involved. And what you're doing now with the car going around trying to register voters, that's what we need. I have, I'm not in here today to ask you to vote for me. I'm in here to ask you to vote for a good, strong Republican that you can fall in and you believe in. The reason I'm asking that question is because there's a lot of good people in here. And there's a lot of good people. A lot, some people say, well, the right guy hadn't got in yet. You know, I would differ. I would say the right guy's been in this thing. Uh, but I've given, I'm on my 32nd year. Education is my first thing. And the first thing I'm going to do when I get to Washington is I want to get on the education committee and I want to send back locally what the children are taught in school and, and the curriculum. And I, t I say this all the time. If I could send back every dime that Washington sends to me and tell them to keep it, and not make me have to jump through the hoops they make, they make us jump through, I would literally make money. I'm telling you. But it's, unfortunately, it's not that way. Unfortunately, they send us down here, they tell us what to do. We're scrambling around. Everybody's trying to find ways to spend money now. And we just got $125 million worth of ESSER money in Horry County. I'm not sure what George got, but uh, I, I doubt that it was that much. But, you know, that's a lot of money. And, uh, and it's, it's bad enough that the Democrats are trying to buy everybody else off. Now they're trying to buy the school districts off. And, uh, you know, I will touch on this. The critical race theory came up. It's something that comes up. I've been hearing a lot. I was the first school board chairman in the state of South Carolina to come out against critical race theory. I was in that vote by myself. I was, I was in that vote by myself for two months. And I'm going to tell you, uh, uh, the Horry County Republican women, I want to thank them because... They literally, they literally went out to a school board meeting one night when the NAACP was going to call for me to step down. And they stood up for me. But guess what? About two weeks later, the governor got on board with me. And then Molly Spearman got on board with me. And now guess what? All of a sudden, even Tom Rice is on board. Now, critical race theory, they have finally decided there's no place for it in our schools. It'll never be taught as long as I've got anything to do with it. And I promise you this, win, lose, or draw, Next February, we're going to get a law signed in Columbia by the governor, and it'll never be called in our schools in South Carolina. That's